We're going full swing content today. We're going full swing. No, no, we're all gas, no break. Today, Colts fans, I know there's a good portion of you in that wah, wah, wah phase right now. Oh, it's getting more realistic. The chances keep going up. Oh, I'm scared, buddy. It's going to cost a lot of injury. Oh, baby. You can stay mad. Let's listen to your boy, Pat McAfee. Colts legend, Indianapolis, Indiana, Indiana legend. Uh, you know, one of the loudest voices in the city. Let's listen to him. Let's listen to Pat. Also think about this, uh, the Colts. Yeah, they're sure. There at yeah. Four. Absolutely. They need to do whatever they can to go get him. Yeah. yeah. With like Steichen, the, with yeah. Steichen, exactly. who, who just did yeah. what he did with Jalen Hurts in that offense. Not saying that Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson are the same people, but you talk about a skill set being absolutely taken advantage of. Lamar in that offense would be perfect. Tight ends are big. Drag routes are big. Huge. A lot of run, a lot of zone, holding, ISO. It's all right. You literally just drop right in. With Jonathan Taylor behind yeah. you, you drop right into a situation in which you're competitive, at least in the AFC, in which you might not be sitting at four when allegedly there's only three quarterbacks. And to be honest, Colts are pretty much one of the only teams when the franchise tag got placed that didn't come out immediately and say, we're not interested. Well, that's because Jim had a fun. I've been saying that. All these teams within that first, you know, four, six hours said, no way, no how. The Colts kept their mouth shut. Stephen Holder came out, and he pointed that out as well in his article. The Colts didn't say nothing. They kept their head down. They kept their head in the book. I'm stating the facts, and your feelings are staying mad. Let's keep it moving. Fucking concert. Oh, yeah. Jim Mercer had a concert. Right. He was in the middle. Him and a guy from ZZ Top. That's right. True. <laughs> They were doing that. Yes. He didn't have time to tweet it. You, no, no, I'm, you, I, that was in the Colts' favor. They were one of the only ones that didn't say they weren't in. Yeah, you're right. You're 100 percent no, but I know what you're saying. But also, like as the Panthers said, they're uh, devil's options. advocate to that. It's yeah. like, yeah, they were busy. You know, they yeah, were setting up right. a concert. You know, they had a lot of other stuff going on. Falcons said they were out. Panthers said they were out. They might be back in, but none of us knew. Unless, that, do we think other teams knew? There's no way Baltimore was no calling way. people. Hey, Lamar requested a trade to get no. the fuck off of our team yeah, no. five days ago. They weren't telling anybody. Heard it. This goes back to the whole conversation about like need to have some people working for you. Yeah. He puts this tweet out. Everybody's talking about it right now. Yes. You don't think some owners or GMs are like, oh, this is a very real situation. Might be able to do it. Just three tweet, a threaded three tweeter. Again, I said it. Take a page out of Aaron Rodgers book. Use your voice. He took all the leverage out of the Packers situation when he said, I intend to play for the New York Jets this upcoming season. I don't want to be there no more. He took all the leverage. They, can't, they thought they were going to get that first round pick number 13 overall. They'll be lucky to get what they can get. You're going to get what you get, and you're going to like it. Baltimore Ravens, you're going to get what you get, and you're going to like it. He's now generating even a little bit of leverage for you to potentially get out of the situation you're in. We're happy Lamar did it. Well, also, like all the teams who said they weren't interested, like that's just all posturing and bullshit because now that we know that he has requested a trade and like he's available, if you look at uh, like the wording on his tweet, like he's operating under the assumption that like – He's done in Baltimore. He's not playing there again. I said that. I said, he's. He, he, you got to go in. You got to meet fire with fire. Again, Pat McAfee and his team over there, they recognize it. They got the earwax out of their ear. They're paying attention. They're paying attention to where this is coming from. They're not speculating and me. They're, they're sticking to the facts. They're sticking to the reality of the situation. He don't want to be there no more, right? And a lot of teams are going to be sitting up in their chairs this afternoon now. They're going to be having even tougher meetings, right? And as it looks like, the Colts hopefully got a jump start on it. Again, not being one of those teams that immediately said no. Again, these other teams could get interested and things could get crazy. But all of you told me no, no way, no how. Is it still as much no way, no how it was last week when you said it? What about two weeks ago? Is it that same percentage? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, thank you.